movieweb.com. How are you doing? Okay, I had an early start, like 5.30, so I've yeah. got that feels odd feeling. Tired. Is it not <laughs> 3 o'clock yet? <laughs> well, it it feels like, like it. Thank you. Okay, well, my first question is, did you know that you inspired Dandy to write a book of pornographic poetry? Yes, I did it because uh, I, you know, she was obviously obsessed with what was inside my tiny shorts, and uh, <laughs> then she channeled that into poetry. Anything Tandy does now, anything that comes from her, I immediately know is some sort of twisted joke that she's obviously pulled you into, and <laughs> I, I know her too well, trust me. What you should do is go back and tell her that um, that let me think what I can say to her. <laughs> she she's a relentless practical joker, but if she did think if she did write that, then I'm not surprised. She says she, she did. Well, yeah. she's she fancies the pants off me. What can I say? Everyone's always saying, oh, well, how come Simon Pegg is such a kind of like you know ordinary kind of guy? Why would Tandy Newton ever love him? The truth is, she was after me non-stop on this thing, you know. And I'm like, get off, get the <laughs> hell off me. Well, she came to you to be in this, right? I was like, back off, biatch. That's what I think they, you say here, isn't it? Yeah, mm -mm, no. <laughs> I've never said I that. that but... An American phrase some, one of my friends told me. Uh, no, we, we chased after her uh, because we were trying to find someone to play Libby, and I think we were just a bit unsure about um, how, to, how to go with it. And I, I, when Tiny first came up, I thought, ah, she's a bit Hollywood. You know, she's very beautiful, and I don't see her as a sort of North London mum. And uh, but she came in and she did it and she did it brilliantly and you know she has that fantastic quality where she can be one of the most beautiful women in the world and still be believable as a sort of hackney mum you know. Well, how do you find the ability to have a sunny disposition like every second of the day you're shooting? Because that's what I've heard from both David and Tandy. Um, a class drugs. Really. Mainly. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I you know it's a great job. Filming is a. Uh, it's a fantastic job being an actor, you know. That's the bit I really enjoy about my job is is going to work. It's not really that what people kind of assume people do it for, which is the, 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 the subsequent trappings of whatever the hell fame means, you know, which is, can actually be a, a real drag. It, it, it's it's going to work and mech, mucking around with friends on set and getting to kiss Tandy Newton, things like that, you know. That's uh, that's what you do it for, and um, and that just makes me very happy. I think it's important in terms of the body politic of making a film, the director. The lead actors often inform how the rest of everyone, how everyone else feels, and so it's you. You do have to maintain a sunny disposition, I think, so everyone's happy. Well, if you're ever in a bad mood, do you just go hide out for a little while till it passes over? Or? Yeah, I, I remember one morning I, I, I came to work. We were shooting a scene when I was running across Hampstead Heath, which is a big grassy area of London, and I had a really bad cold, and I was I don't want to do it. But uh, <laughs> David's like brilliant at that. He, if, you, if he senses you're in any way uh, feeling a little bit down, he'll come in there, he'll sort you out, cheer you up, and you're, you're back on form. So uh, it's, it was a good working situation. Now, why did you decide to work with David again? I know you worked with him a couple of times. I know, huh? This. Could I be any more? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Could be any more what? Like, I was trying to do a friend's joke. <laughs> uh, I remember, uh, we just get on really well with me and David. You know, we, we had a... We had a great relationship on on Big Big Nothing, which is what we did together, a movie we did together. We'd, we'd met on Band of Brothers, but hadn't really hung out that much because of the, the nature of the show. Um, but we, we really clicked on Big Nothing, and uh, I remember, I remember I think the what the pinnacle of our, our <laughs> when I realized that we were really good friends was on New Year's Eve 2006 or seven. He sent me a message on New Year's Eve saying, Happy, uh, Happy New Year, Simon. And I sent him one back saying, Fuck you, Ross. <laughs> and uh, I knew then that we were going to be friends forever. That's too funny. <laughs> now, before I wrap stuff up, Bird on a Wire gave Paul a really bad name. And I'm wondering, you guys aren't going to do that with your script you're working on now, are you? Gave Paul a really bad name. You're working on a script now called Paul, right? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping yeah. that, because my name's Paul, I'm hoping you're, you're not giving oh, that no, name no, a no, bad no, no, name, because no. Bird on a Wire just like totally wrecked that of name course, for the, my high school experience. Yeah, no, 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 Paul is, uh, Paul is, Paul is, uh, is reverential to Paul. You need not worry. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a very pro-Paul movie. It is. We're taking it back from the Bird on the Wire, Paul Rapers. I'm glad to hear that. Bad choice of phrasing there, sorry. <laughs> Paul Rivers, <Rutgers>, it's <laughs>